video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. The Golden State Warriors had been anxiously awaiting the arrival of Steph Curry off the injured list. Having lost some of their championship luster despite beating the Spurs in five games in the first round. And at long last, he made his entrance onto the court, checked in midway through the first, and the Warriors never looked back. First off, let's look at his baskets. Barely 11 seconds after checking in, he ran off a double staggered screen, and when Holiday tried to jump over the last screen, Curry stopped, turned and fired, and that's as clean a ball as you're going to see. They set up for a similar play as two screeners are moving in position for Curry. Ian Clark might even know this play from his days in Golden State, so he gets topside, anticipating a cut up the left side of the court. Steph reads this perfectly and cuts to the strong side, perfect snap pass from Livingston and Curry gets an easy shot from 4 feet away. There was hardly any sign of rust to his game except an occasional air and dribble, but no matter, his jump shot was a finely tuned instrument raining down fire from 40 feet. His movement without the ball was also on point, as he follows his pass for the ball back, gets Hill badly out of position and reaching, and a quick drive and twist and floating hook shot softly through the net. Their most common action is the low post split, where Curry will enter the ball down low, then scream near the elbow. Because it's for Draymond, they both know to quickly flip it, Curry backing up and getting the Draymond screen. Wide open from 20, and that's almost a layup. On this well run out of bounds play, he sets the back screen for KD, which draws a lot of attention, but then he gets the down screen and check the hop quick release before Moore can get close. Unstoppable. Another out of bounds play takes from the triangle offense. As they inbound to Curry in the corner, KD cuts through and Curry then gets a ball screen. He catches Moore trailing too closely, rises up for a floater and gets free throws. Curry's shot is so good, how good is it, that you have to pick him up right over half court, and every shot fake is a guarantee to get his opponent in the air, where Curry makes AD pay. They run a floppy set for him where he has the choice to break up the left side for a pin down, but instead stops, turns around, and breaks right back up the right side. Great pursuit by Rondo, but he's slightly out of position on the rip through, and Curry is smart to find the contact and get back on the line. Lest you've forgotten that he's got unlimited range, he just pushes the ball down court full speed, and when he isn't stopped until the 30-foot mark, that's good enough for him, defense or no defense. And the nail in the coffin was another low post split, this time with Draymond as the feeder and screener. Moore isn't focused for just a split second, now he's chasing, and this is a wide open shot for Curry who buries it. Checking the box score, we see Curry's plus minus was a ridiculous plus 26, 19 points higher than anybody else on Golden State, and only because they got silly over the last 90 seconds, otherwise it would have been plus 34. Let's look at how his presence on the floor generates buckets for his teammates in subtle and not so subtle ways. On this step up screen for him, notice how two defenders step up to stop him. This now opens up an advantage as Davis has to stop the roll man, leaving Ian Clark to guard Kevon Looney. No contest and easy layup. On a quick high ball screen out top, watch how Steph's gravity pulls Anthony Davis right to him. Perfect side bounce pass in stride allows Draymond to take just one dribble and smosh all over the rim. On this handoff action to KD, Steph's man is supposed to bump down and help on the roll man, but Rondo is unwilling to leave Steph so they give up a dunk. While Seth doesn't rack up a ton of assists, it doesn't mean he lacks vision. Check this beauty as he throws a 40-foot bounce pass to Livingston, who collapses three defenders before shoveling the ball to David West. He also contributed to the defensive end with three steals, each one better than the last. While Miritich had a height advantage on Steph, I love how he fights to hold his position, then pounces on the bounce pass from Rondo to steal it out of Miritich's hands. You can see Steph has sniffed this play out way early, like a cat waiting to pounce on a bird, and waits along the lane line until he can flash his hands in there and trigger a fast break. And as the Pelicans were trying to make a run in the fourth, more high basketball IQ, as he baits Holiday into throwing the ball to what appears to be an open Anthony Davis, and I love that Steph gets the high five from KD on the way back down. 
Unfortunately for the Pelicans, Steph's return signals a rebirth for the Warriors and a reminder to everyone that the two-time MVP is as valuable to his team as anybody in the league, especially the guy with the big beard. While the Rockets loom on the horizon, I'm not even sure if it matters, since it's the Warriors who are firing on all cylinders. Sports fans, make sure to hit the subscribe button and adjust your settings so you can get notified immediately when we drop another great NBA video. Let us know how you feel with a thumbs up and a comment. After all, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.